Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Crash 4. We're gonna take on Jetboard Jetty today and while this level is definitely a step up in difficulty it also brings back some of my most fondly remembered mechanics from one of the older games. Um, you'll see what I mean when we get get into this, but it is like for me this is really where difficulty kind of takes a jump up all of a sudden. Um, so the plan is for the moment to finish this, then do the flashback tape that we got last episode and haven't gotten around to yet. And then we'll get stuck into the next world. But first of all, let's get going. There is a flashback tape in this level. I'm not sure if I'm going to commit to getting it on the first run because I will be trying to and probably will get the uh, box gem in this level. I also, I was talking last episode about trying to figure out a new or some sort of term for getting through the level with three or less lives in order to get the gem. And I was thinking like the death gem or the the lives gem. I, I thought of one. I actually thought of one. And I'm going to call it the survival gem. Because it's all about just getting through the level. Surviving the traps and pitfalls. So survival gem. That's what we're going to call it. I'm, I'm committing to that now. So without too much further ado. Let's get going. Now I'm going to have to really rack my brain for where it, oh actually no I think I, I think I do remember where the hidden gem is in this level this if I remember right this level is actually quite long as well it's definitely one of the longer ones Slip. so we need to watch out for this dude let him throw his fish bones before we we try to take them down. This one is just a matter of timing. We just need to make sure we don't get hit by that anchor on the way around. So I also realized that I'm, I stated before that the gems that we get, the three for the different percentages, I may have slightly misspoken in the past. I think I'm, I said that that's for getting a certain percentile of the boxes. Which, it's not. What it actually is, is the different percentiles of the Wampa Fruit in the level. But in order to get the, a lot of the Wampa Fruit, you have to break the boxes. So it kind of ties in with itself, but isn't necessarily to do with the boxes. You can get a lot of Wampa Fruit outside of boxes. So just I wanted to clarify that point because I may have misspoken on it. Anyway, this is where I'm talking about brings back one of my most fondly remembered mechanics. And it's the uh, the like wakeboard from Crash 2. And I remember loving this thing. Now it it weirdly enough oh actually we are gonna get the uh, the flashback tape first time around. It handles very <laughs> surprisingly similarly to how it did back in Crash 2 in that it's a bit difficult to handle but I suppose they have been true to their word in that regard right so this I like to look at bonus levels in a particular way and I, I haven't had to do it too much so far but as we progress further in this game the bonus levels get more and more tricky and the bonus levels yes there's an element of skill to them but most of what you're trying to do in a bonus level is figure out how to do the thing whatever that thing might be so I, I look at it almost like a puzzle that needs solving. So that's not how we solve this one. But for example, with this one, the puzzle that we need to solve for this first part is how do I not fall when I hit the boxes? And the answer to that question is we need to hit the TNT box, but Obviously, we can't stay at the TNT box when it blows up, so we need to be bouncing on those other boxes so that we can get away from the explosion. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I mean when I when I say uh, it's like a puzzle. 
And this is a similar thing, but we need to wait longer before we commit to the boxes, because if we go too early, then we end up in a situation where the boxes are gone and we just fall. So, just it's just the way I look at bonus levels, and I wanted to kind of give my perspective on it, because I'm sure there's a lot of people who, you know, may not look at it that way, and maybe I can help people kind of get them a little easier by not looking at them as just another another segment that they're actually they kind of need to be looked at in a different way now so we've got these rafts i this is all just timing it's all just timing and for here it's just a slide under now i think there might be something on top of this or maybe i'm completely wrong Ooh, watch out for that. Just watch out for the nitros. Make sure you hit the exclamation box so that we can slide those. Where you can throw before we take them out. And I think this is the last uh, sideways segment. So we'll just take it easily. Whoa. Oh, we looked out on that one a little bit. Then slide, and we are done. There we go. Now, there are some boxes over on this far side that we need to make sure not to miss. Watch out for this dude. He does get a little bit difficult if you aren't expecting him to come that far. So now we're going to have mines and cannons to deal with, as well as the whirlpools. So we definitely need to be watching out for those. Uh, they are going to get a little bit more tricky as we go along. The mines will start to move, but it's not too bad as long as you give them a wide enough berth. Some of these boxes can be quite hard to get because they're... Whoa, I forgot there was a second cannon there. Um, so we're going to have a Lanu Lolly segment coming up here. But before we do that, we're going to take this green gem route. And this is tough. This is genuinely pretty goddamn tough. But, you know, we're going to give it a best go. And there are boxes that, you know, we absolutely need to get. And this is why I was saying it's probably going to be a case of coming back for the lives on this one. You need to be quick on that. Jump. Take Whoa! Whoa! Damn it, it hit me. But that's okay. That's okay. Fuck, I didn't realize that was an actual cannon. I thought it was just background. Damn. Okay. So you can see why this is kind of difficult, for want of a better term. Okay, let's give this another go. Whoa. As... As odd as it might sound, one of the key things for this is actually just going to be patience because go too soon, you know, rush it and you're not you're not going to judge everything, you know, correctly, but also you are being rushed because everything is moving. <laughs> so as long as you kind of think about what you're doing and take the time to actually think about what that is. Whoops. I don't know how that didn't kill me. But okay. Watch out for the anchor. We can use the box to get over that. Avoid the cannons. And there we go. That's that route done. Now, I don't think I missed the box there. I don't think I did. But it is very easy to miss some boxes in this because there are quite a lot of them. Okay, so... Just be careful on this one. Make sure not to get collared by the uh, by the swinging anchors. Um, there is a springboard here. Make sure you don't miss those boxes. Now this one. Whoa! We need to pop that in. So make sure you don't miss that one. Now... If we bounce on this, we will just jump straight over his attack 
which is perfectly fine. And then for here, we need to be... There we go. Now, we're just going to phase that out and let that blow up. This guy will wait, jump up when he chooses to throw. And then we can take them out, wait for the explosion to go off. Ooh, okay, that one does get pretty tight. Again, just bounce on the box up and over. Now, I had thought the hidden gem was here. But apparently it's not. So I'm not 100% sure where I've missed it. But I am... Oh, actually, I may not. <laughs> I've only died once, so I may not have to go back to this level. Um, if things go well. This next segment is where things do get really difficult. I find. So, it kind of brings you into this mechanic of luring these enemies into the mines, which is something that, you know, it's it's a very uh, important mechanic for the end of this level. So just watch out for the whirlpools. Take our time here. Up and over. Again, you know, if you miss the mines, it does make it a little bit tricky. But should be okay. They won't follow you the whole way, so. And again, here we're gonna have the same thing. Just try to blow them up with the mines without blowing yourself up, of course. There we go. Just stay where we are to hit these boxes. Oh, man, that gets tight. Okay, so this is where the really challenging part comes in. So, we're going to have something that's new to Crash Games here, and that's a mini-boss. So, Louise, who I don't really know what to call it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to try to hit us with its tendrils, for want of a better expression. We're going to need to lure these explosive enemies into the tendrils best we can while not killing ourselves there we go and then hopefully we can lure this dude yeah there we go take one out straight away the one oh we narrowly missed that one okay okay there we go Kind of looked out on that last one. It just popped up just in time. And there we go. All the boxes. And we got the life gem in that as well. Oh, the survival gem. Flashback tape. The whole lot. Um, I didn't actually see the uh, hidden gem at all there. Which is really surprising for me. I thought I knew where it was, but where I thought it was, it wasn't, which is odd. So we will go and get it now. Just going to have to be a little bit more careful. Okay. I know where it is. I have remembered. Took a little jogging of my memory, but I remember. It's not too hard to get. And it's not where it's it's not the place I uh, initially thought it was. Um, where I I had thought it was where I pointed out. Whoa, but it's not. Um, I also thought it was at the end of the green gem route, which it's not. Um, the whole point of the green gem route is literally just all of, all of the crates, all of the boxes. So we are just gonna blitz through this level. Hopefully we're not going to die a ton of times right at the end to Louise. Because it is very, like, <laughs> I may have uh, accidentally made it look rather simple, but I have died to her so many times. So, so many times in the past. Okay, so we're not too far from it at the moment. It's actually at the end of this segment. Oh, 
Whoa. Almost didn't pick that one up. Uh, I did check on top of this, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Oh, we got two. <laughs> nice one. And up. And up. Oh. And up. And up. Now, there it is. Don't know if you can see at the top of the screen there. So, once we're here, it's just a quick double jump up. And there it is. Okay. Nearly there. I say nearly there. I think we're only like halfway through the level, to be honest. But we're not going to bother with the green gem root this time because we don't need it. And we can be relatively efficient here. I'm... I'm I don't necessarily need to be getting the amount of boxes that I'm getting at the moment. It's just kind of force a habit, to be honest. Oh, okay, that hit. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want that. Ding! There we go. Bounce on the TNT. Up and over. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. We are... Up to the last segment, but we're gonna have to take this one a little bit slower. Just so as we don't blow ourselves up. We do have, I think it's two Akuaku masks, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. We'll blow that up, perfect. And over. Boom. Boom. Uh, may not get that one. Zoom, zoom. Whoa, I almost ran straight into that cannonball. Okay, so let's do this again. And this is, yeah, we have to kind of take it slowly here. If we rush this, we, we run the risk of just killing ourselves. Go. Keep away from the doors because they'll be coming out. You can go straight into that one. Oh, nice. That was a fantastic result. Boom. Come on. Okay, didn't quite get that. That's. Oh, I narrowly missed it. <laughs> Come on, up you come, up you come. Yeah, there we go. Again, I realize I've done this first try both times. It is not that easy. <laughs> there we go. Six gems and the artist. Uh, yeah, continue on. <laughs> Akano, old yeah. dark matter himself. Careful, Crash. Uh, he's heavier than mine. <laughs> oh, good. You're awake. Uh, All right. Two masks down, two to go. Feeling a little less panicked. I, I was at a 10 before. Now I'm at a solid, let's say, 9.78. 88. Oh, yeah. These bandicoots are here to help. Bandicoot. <laughs> Follow. Short and to the point. Love this guy. <laughs> So that is Akano, which is our next quantum mask. Um, he'll give us access to a new move in the same way that Lanu Lolly allows us to kind of phase things in and out. Akano will give us a new thing we can do, which will become very evident in the next level. But before we do that level, I can show off this new skin. 
which is the artist which is actually a pretty a pretty cool and creative one i quite like it um why am i missing the skin oh i know why i'm missing skin don't worry i'll come back to it okay so now we've got two flashback tapes to do so we'll do the two of them back to back Wumpa Affinity Test. Alright. I love that in every flashback test, they bring back the music from the first three games. It just, it just makes me so happy. Oh, so happy that I stopped paying attention. I also find it very uh, entertaining that they allow the skins in the in these test oh, that may have been a bad idea. It's okay, I don't necessarily need all the wampa. Just need the Just need the boxes. So far so good. Now, I don't know why, but there is a lot of sheep in the background, and I I don't know why there are sheep everywhere. Okay, so this one, take our time with breaking these. We'll hit this arrow crate for this, and that'll allow us to get up to here. You want to just come back this way afterwards. Now, again, I like to take the high road first, because it's a lot easier to get something that is below you than it is to try to climb back up to something that is above you. And ain't that a fact. We need to be careful here not to get too close to those nitros. Oh, Jesus, cut that one close as well. And with this, that's all the boxes. Um, I don't know why, but that one is... I, I definitely find that one easier than the first two. Like, 100% easier than the first two. Although the next one, if I remember right, is quite difficult. So, I guess it kind of balances out. So next up is Bandicoot versus Wombat Eval. Whatever that means. Whatever that means. Okay, here we go. Now. I'm gonna have to create a classic design. Low cartoons. <laughs> Ah, yes, that's right. We need to time this. Yeah, so getting getting through these can be a bit of a pain in the ass. And I can do that. Uh, and from here... Whoa. No, we don't want to do that. We do not want to do that. I think what we want to be doing is this. And then from here, yeah, we go up. Excellent. And from here, break these. Come 
One, two, three, four, five. Hit this one. And then one, two, Oh, God, that's nerve-wracking how tight that is. <laughs> okay, and this will allow us to get up top. And again, we kind of need to be very careful here. So, if we hold X, we jump high enough to blow up those TNT. So, at no point here should we be holding X. There we go. Okay, I don't think that TNT is going to be strong enough to, uh... Ooh. It will be. Okay. It's fine. Not entirely sure what all that's about, because we could get to the top of this anyway. And again, this flashback tape has a load of, um, sheep in the background again. Don't really know why. Now, before we commit to this... This TN the, the TNT will blow up the two boxes beneath us, but it'll also hit that exclamation box, which will fill in the boxes at the end here. What it fills in are metal. We can't get through it if we do it. So, what we have to do, as soon as we hit this, we need to start moving. There we go. Damn it. That is not really what I wanted to do. Let's see, can we salvage this? No. Okay. Well, at least we know our way around here. Up and over. Down to this one. Make sure we go. Ah, I was too hasty. Too hasty. Over. Okay, let me just take my time with this one now. I say take my time. <laughs> I don't really take my time. <laughs> okay, so we're going to hit that first. Now. This one will activate that. This one will activate those. This one will pop the boxes in. And then we need to hit that in order to reach that. Okay, so from here, we can take a little bit of an easy route and just stay above these. I don't think I can do it with this one, though. If I can time it right, though, no. I thought I'd be able to just get on top of it from there. Okay, so for this one, we need to get. Okay, I wasn't sure exactly what that was going to do, so I wanted to at least hit some of the boxes. Okay, moment of truth time. Did we hit them all? Yes, we did. Experiment nice. There is four of the 21 flashback tapes Platinum Relict. Pretty happy with that, not gonna lie. Okay. Here we go. So, give it a spin. We've got another flashback tape that we can get in this level, and another six gems. Okay. 
<laughs> so where's the next mask? Not here. If these chuckle nuts weren't punching holes in reality, we could open our own rifts. Uh, for now, we're stuck taking the long route. But I sense another rift around here somewhere. Ah! Ah! Friends, I have a fun little game for you to play. I've got a reward for the clever bandicoots who can reach my testing grounds. But you'll have to defeat my deadly diabolical creations along the way. <laughs> So, Enbryo's an interesting sort. He was a boss in the first game. Then he was our friend in the second game. And then I don't think even it was a part of anything in the third game. So, it's an interesting one. Because he's an enemy here, weirdly. But anyway... The new ability we have is this, I think it's called the Dark Matter Spin. And it just, you know, it goes indefinite. It breaks reinforced crates. It lets us kind of float a little and jump super high. And it's really handy. But it does come with some challenges. Oh, there's a box up top there. Almost missed it. I don't think there's anything above this. Now, yes, it will just straight up blow up the entry, so we do not want to be spinning into those. What's been up to? Me, mostly the same. Mixing potions, brewing potions, drinking potions, testing potions. Okay, so we're gonna go straight across here because this is where our hidden gem is. And then we can break all these boxes. There is a number of places where you probably don't really need to use the Dark Matter Spin, but I like to anyway, just because it's a cool thing to get used to. Okay, so these, when you land on them, don't stay on them long. They eat you. Watch out for that. There's another variant of them that we'll come across later that don't wait for you to jump on them. They'll just intermittently snap. Unfortunately, my potions had some murderous effects on the inhabitants. All the better to test you with. Okay, so here we want to be hitting those boxes up top. You can kind of take a double jump um, with those boxes when you hit the red. TNT crate, but it's just as it's just as easy to uh, double jump and spin. Now, double jump over those. There we go. And we have another timeline event. That's what that was. Now, here we're going to be introduced to these guys. You want to hit them from behind? Hey, a Dark Matter Spin deflects green magic. So basically, if you try to attack them from the front, you will just bounce back off. Um, so you need to hit them from behind. Oh, I almost forgot about that. I wonder... If I can perfect this level, it would be amazing if I could. So this is what it means by deflecting green magic. It will shoot these at you, and you can just deflect it straight back where it came from. Like so. Now, where is the switch? It's definitely around here somewhere. I think I may have missed it. Which is really unfortunate. I might have to die. And I realize the uh, irritation of that right after I've said, oh, maybe I can perfect this. But there is definitely a... Oh, shit. I got... Yeah. Okay, we might be in trouble. Can we... Can we get up and over that? No. Okay, that's fine. We will just... We'll get to the end of this level. 
uh, and take it as our survival then. Okay, so this one we want to be aiming for the small little platform on the left. Watch out for the TNT here. You want to hit them and then you want to run. And again, just see yourself across. These are the ones that just will intermittently just snap up. So just work on your time in there. There we go. I wish I didn't have to resort to live tests for my experiments, but you know, omelets, eggs, superpowered potions, marsupia, I mean, other animals. <laughs> Embryo is such an odd. <laughs> So here we want to just, you know, try to stay away from the magic. I'm not going to hit the bonus round this time because we're just, we're not going to be able to get all the boxes. I don't particularly want to just waste time. Just, just run through here. Don't worry too much about the magic. Just, just you moving is usually enough to, uh, to not get hit like this. So here, just watch out for the nitro crates. You want to send that back at him. Keep it coming, pal. There we go. Now we can blow it. Okay. Across we go. Now this guy is going to animate, so we're just going to get past him. Come back around. Usually it's not that challenging. <laughs> he usually, uh, you can usually catch him before he turns back around. So from here, we've got a series of jumps that we need to time in order to hit the boxes. Different heights, different trajectories. It's not too difficult. It is a little bit difficult, but it's not excessively difficult. And then here is the end of the level. So we've done that in two lives. We got our flashback tape and our hidden gem. So now we just need to go back and get all of the boxes. And I'm, I'm trying to remember where that exclamation box is to pop those six in. I think I remember where it is. I think I just zoomed by it without thinking, to be honest. But we'll get it this time around. Don't you worry. Believe it or not, we're actually still kind of in the realm of levels where it's it's not particularly challenging, if that makes any sense. Like, some of the stuff we've done so far can be quite challenging, but we haven't even gotten to a point, you know, it, it gets much, much, much more challenging. So we do need to be aware of that fact. That we kind of need to be mastering these things now. So as not to uh, end up really stuck later on. There we go. Yeah. Oh. I didn't realize I'd ventured that far forward. Whoops. go. The box is here. Not really going to bother with the Wampa fruit, to be honest. It's only three Wampas. Nothing to be, even be writing home about, to be honest. Okay, straight across. Again, what I was saying the last time, you can just you know, hit it like that and then just walk off not too much more dangerous. Well, I'm pretty sure it's not here. Pretty sure it's not here. 
but where I think it might be. Yes, I know exactly where it is. I don't know if you can see it, but it is right there. I actually think we need to use this. Ah, oh. <laughs> there we go. That's where it is. Come and get me. Bing. There we go. Now, that should be enough to get us all of the boxes. And there is the eight boxes to the left there. Right, there we go. Uh, I don't think there's actually anything above this, so we can just take them out as normal. Hit that. Yeah. Take it easy. Aim for the left. The yellow circle that uh, kind of shows us what we're above is very beneficial when you pay attention to it and don't blow it like that. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I'm gonna hit both of them. I, I'm fairly sure they'll blow each other up. I just wanna be on. I just want to be sure. From here, we've got a little bit more timing to take care of. I want to wait for that one to go. Yeah, there we go. And that should get us timing-wise. There we go. I wish I could catch the resort. Shush. <laughs> and this time round, we are going to take the bonus route. Wait for those to blow up, and then we'll take it. Um, I'm trying to remember what this bonus route is like. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember now. Okay. So, we need to get up to that box. And this is this is a perfect example of why I think of these as puzzles. You would think you need to use this bounce box underneath these to reach that. It's not the case. You can't. If you body slam these, you will break the bounce box as well. So, we need to find another way up there. So, in order to do that, we need to continue along and we need to be quick here. That will allow us to get up top here. And once we've hit that, then we can break these. Now, this will be tricky, but we need to leave that one box behind. I'm not going to... Oh, I'm going to have to hit those. Okay, so we need to hit the TNT. But what I want to be doing is standing here so that I can get the height to hit that. And that will pop in the boxes up top. Ah, yes. I had actually forgotten about that. Okay, so we want to get back up top. Uh, and, whoa. From here, I think we might be able to make it. Oh, no, that's a big no. We're not making it from there. Hmm. Now, that does beg the question. How do we get back up there? I don't think we can make it from here either. But there is definitely a way. Maybe it's from the bottom one here. Uh, the timing on this is hard. <laughs> Let's try it from a crouch jump. There we go. Maybe I can make it from the here. Oh yeah, look at that. Tricky. Trixie. Oh no! It squashed me between the top of the block and the <laughs> and the top platform. That's just cruel. Dangling the carrot in front of me to do that. Well, at least we know what we're doing. At least we know how to get it. So there's actually no way to get up to that without blowing these up, which is really annoying. To be quite frank. What we're going to do this time is we're going to go from here. Because... Well, no specific reason, to be honest. Um, it just means that there's more for me to collect back this way. There we 
go. I guess it just makes this trek a little bit more meaningful. <laughs> okay, and then the last two boxes are going to be these two. And then... Whoop. Yeah, we're going to go up and over just to be on the safe side this time. So there we go. There is the bonus level. Dunzo, Hunzo. And then from here, we can just complete on this level like before. Oh, boy, that's sneaky. <laughs> This time round. There we go, we hit it. TNT. I don't think this blows up the nitros. No. But it does give us a bit of width to play with. There's no box. You can take those lily pads to the right. Um, but there's no boxes there to get. There we go. That's what I was looking for last time. over with these then just hit these on the way around and that should that should be everything I hope <laughs> here's the moment of truth was there seven nitro crates yes there was There we go. There is six gems. Give it a spin on our new skin, Persona. Back to the dimensional map we go. So we get three different options here now. But well, first, here is the Persona skin. Which is kind of cool. But for now, I think I'm going to stick with Pirate Crash. Um, so our options here are to go to Dragon Arm, which is the next progression level. We can do a Tana level called Potion Commotion, which is a tie-in to the level we just did. And we've got a flashback tape option. So, we're going to tackle all three of these, but we're going to tackle all three of these in the next video. Because this has gone on, I'm going to say, probably close to 45, maybe more minutes. And I think that's about as long as I can go without uh, it being too long. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that my guide walkthroughs showing you where things are has been helpful and it has helped you find that missing box or hidden gem that you were really struggling with so far. And there will be a lot more. There will be a lot more challenges and probably a lot, lot, lot more deaths. But so far, it's been going quite well and I'm, I'm happy to have been finding everything. So, until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. And take care.